What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a basic Twitch panel for your streams. So the first step in order to make this panel, here, if I just uh, put this on so you guys can see it a bit uh, easier, this is what we are going to be making. So like I said before, the first step is to head over to the top where it says file, select new, uh, make the width 400, the height 100, and then the resolution anywhere between 100 and 200 is fine. So I'm actually going to bump this up a little bit. Um, it Obviously increasing the resolution will increase the size of the file. So I'm going to put it to 200. If you have a bad PC, reduce it to let's say 100 or so. And uh, once you've done that, you can then hit OK. So as you can see here, it's quite small, but we will have to zoom in. And as you zoom in, it will get pixelated. But obviously the panel is going to be like this far away. So you won't even see the pixelization and whatnot. So first of all, we are going to go into um, our new canvas. And two things you will need for this uh, tutorial to obviously follow along with is a stock pack from Bird Designs, link to that in the description. All credit goes to him for this pack and also my exclusive layer styles pack, my very first video. This was uh, really good layer styles in here and we're going to be using both of them. So first of all what we are going to do is double click on the background layer so the lock goes away and we're going to keep the colour white for now. Uh, and once you've done that just make a brand new layer at the bottom and first of all you want to have a ruler that shows you where the middle of the panel is so uh, it will lock into place once you're near it and as you can see there is the middle right there so first of all we're going to grab our pen tool and we're going to make this shape over here so uh, to make it all I did was just draw a line from here let's say to over here a line down from there to there and then a line over here and then just uh, sort of extend this over there like that. Sometimes uh, you may need to go back and just do it again because the line's too small or whatnot. But that looks quite good. And once you've done, just right click, go to fill path. Make sure the color contents is on something like black or just the opposite color to what your background is. And once you've done that, you can then hit OK. And as you can see here, you have a black uh, path thing. If you want to get rid of these paths, go over to paths over here and just press delete on the work path and that will become a normal layer. So once you've done that, you can then press Control J on your keyboard to duplicate this and then pressing Control T and then uh, right clicking, go into flip horizontal, will flip this and you will have the same exact thing on the other side. So as you can see here, it will look sort of something like this, like the other one did. And if you press Control H, it will hide the ruler so you can see what it will look like. So now what we're going to do is uh, start doing the background for this. So we're going to grab our stock pack and the stock I am using is called displacement. You can use any one of these. Orange light is obviously good, but I have used that in um, my past few tutorials. So I'm going to stay away from that and I'm going to grab displacement because I think it works quite well when we uh, add a Gaussian blur to it. So drag and drop uh, displacement into your canvas and as you can see it's going to be quite big so if you press control minus on your keyboard zoom out uh, quite a bit and then press control T and while holding down shift just reduce the size of this so it uh, actually fits inside there as you can see right now and once you've done that you can hit enter so pressing control and plus we can see it's like this make sure like I said create clipping mask right click it create clipping mask and uh, if it doesn't work as you can see right now it's because you have merged these two layers so just press control on the top one control on the bottom one and then just press control E on your keyboard and then uh, right click your displacement file and press create clipping mask and it will create the clipping mask onto that shape. Now what we're going to do is just make a brand new layer right here and we're just going to go to the brush tool, select the colour you want as you can see right now. I did use blue in this for that one so I'm going to go ahead and choose red this time so I'm going to choose a sort of offset red and just get your brush tool, make it at a size of around about let's say uh, 500 and then grabbing your brush tool to sort of dab areas of this on uh, so dab sort of areas on the wallpaper that we are using just to sort of make it look a little bit like this and then once you've done that right click that and create clipping mask on it and then go to your blending options and select overlay I think overlay works well uh, you can go ahead and use something else say uh, you use normal let's have a look what that looks like as you can see right now it doesn't look as good so I'm gonna go to overlay and I'm now going to merge these two layers. So press control on that one, control on that one, then press control E, 
And then after that, just press Control J, uh, clip and mask that one as well, and then go to Filter, select Blur, then Gaussian Blur, and as you can see right now, it will create a nice sort of reddish effect. I put the Gaussian Blur on around about uh, 1.5, that looks good, just so you keep the sort, same sort of um, style. And then once you've done that, just press OK, and as you can see there, it's sort of like a cloudy red style. You can then go ahead and add more red if you need to, say like this, uh, we can just do the same exact thing. Uh, see that looks a little bit better just so it stands out a little bit more so one other thing we are going to do is make a brand new layer once again grab our brush tool on a size of around about uh, let's say 300 make sure the color of it is selected as black and just add a black on the sides of this create the clip and mask once again and then lower down this opacity to something like 10 percent that looks good and then just make a brand new layer once again this time select white and then just add a, uh, a sort of centerpiece right here so it gives it a nice little highlight then create clip and mask of that and don't put it on overlay or anything like that just lower down the opacity to around about 50 percent so now we're gonna uh, obviously add the text so i'm just gonna grab my text tool and i'm gonna start typing my text so let's say this one is for instagram uh, i'm gonna type instagram and the font that i'm using is called neo sans bold i'll leave a link to that in the description i think it's a really good font for uh, sort of twitch panels and things like that so um I'm, i made sure that i've got it on the italic one as well because it's sort of um so, sort of goes with the shape if that makes sense but we're going to grab our text and press and control h so we get the rulers back we're going to center our text and uh, once you've done that just press control h once again and now we need to add the layer style on this so i'm going to go grab my layer styles pack and i'm going to actually grab this one i've already saved it but to save it just click on your text tool click on the one you want go over to where it's highlighted double click on it go and it will open up the layer styles go to styles press new style and then just save it and it will appear in your styles page so now i'm just going to select instagram double click on it so it opens up these styles and select that sort of whitish style that we uh, we did use one thing that you can do uh, is grab this and then just make it go just above it like here uh, it sort of it will add that uh, the lighting effects onto the text I don't really want to do that so I'm not going to do that for this tutorial so uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, sort of add the line effects that we did over here as you can see and uh, those are more simple than you think so just make a brand new layer once again go to your pen tool and then it just uh, you may need to zoom in a little bit for this and also have the ruler but just grab your pen tool and uh, as far as you want just make a sort of nice line effect over here just like this one make sure it's sort of even and then just sort of just follow what I'm doing right now it's as simple as that guys I can't really explain it even, even easier than this so once you've done that right click it go to fill path make sure it's on a color like black and then like I said before go to pass and delete the work path and then you can zoom out of that and press Control H and now what you can do just press Control J uh, press Control T to select it, right click, go to flip horizontal and that will flip it horizontally so we can put it on this side as well. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing right over here and as you can see it looks really nice but I'm just going to add a uh, colour overlay to this actually so it's not exactly black. I'm going to make it sort of like a darkish black like that and if you ever want to copy the hex code or something just uh, Control C on the hex code, OK, OK again and then go on your other layer and copy down the hex code like I'm doing right now but the colors are obviously up to you but these are the colors that I have chosen for the tutorial sake and uh, one other thing we are going to do is go back to the actual panel shape double click on that so it opens up the blending options and go and select a drop shadow and lower down the opacity of the drop shadow to around about 15 percent and uh, yeah that's pretty much your panel completed i think these look really really good and uh, yeah they just make your twitch stream look a whole lot better but if you actually want to save this file as well all you have to do is uh hide your background layer as you can see right here so it has the checkers go to file export then save for web make sure it's on png24 and then it just go ahead and save it but anyways guys i do hope you have enjoyed the video hopefully it, this can sort of pimp out your twitch stream and if you did use this uh, sort of tutorial to help you comment down below uh, what should we say for this video comment down below hashtag i watch this all if you watch the whole video and you stay tuned to all the way here so like i said before hope you guys did enjoy the video this has been visual or james and i'm out peace no!